Today we are opening an entire box of Duelist Saga. What's up guys, today we're gonna be opening an epic box of Duelist Saga, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite card from Duelist Saga. There's a lot of classics in here. We can hopefully pull that blue eyes. All right, I'm gonna open this thing up off camera, get all the packs out, because there is a lot of these mini boxes. This video is brought to you by Boksu. Today we have another Boksu box. So we're gonna open this thing up. It's a monthly subscription. You guys can check out the link down below if you guys want to get one. They have some pretty awesome stuff. So we're gonna flip through this book real quick. Usually they give you a little bit of you know insight into what's actually in here. They give you where it's from. You guys can check this out. Where exactly in Japan it was made and all that stuff. Discover exactly where they're from. Learn Japanese in here. I mean, good value for learning Japanese. And you got a lot of cool stuff. We will not go through all of this. We'll let you guys do that when you get your own box. So inside, the snacks tea bag so there you go. go you like tea i've been all right. really into tea lately you is wanna... that a cookie all right you got to try this thing let's try the cookie how is it mm, it's got a good filling on the inside of it these are all different snacks mm. if you guys get these every month you get different snacks not the same thing every time which is really cool want free tickets to japan use my code ruxin10 to get 10 percent off your subscription and subscribe to boksu to become eligible to win the giveaway this opportunity is available for anyone who subscribes by december 31st so don't miss out Inside, we have eight of these mini boxes, which comes out 24 packs like a normal booster box. All right, we've gotten everything out, and yeah, there's not a lot of packs in there for how much packaging it is. It's like Gold Series or Ghost from the Past, stuff like that. There, there's not a lot of packs in there for all that packaging, but this set is really awesome. I think it's like five years old now. I think it came out in 2016. I believe the Blue Eyes is short printed in here because I opened two of those huge boxes like three years ago, and I did not get a Blue Eyes. So hopefully we can get one this time. It's the most expensive card in the set right now. I think it's only like 20 bucks, but there's a lot of solid value in here, like a lot of cards over 10 bucks that we can pull. So it does have this weird rarity. Check this out. Solemn Warning is a pretty good card right off the bat, but it has like this ultra rare technology, I think they call it, something like that. I don't know, new ultra rare technology. It's old now. It's five years old. Fossil Dyna Pachycephalo. That's a good one. Number 94, Crystal Zero. Harvey Featherstorm. This is like a $12 card. That's a good one. It's being used a lot these days. And White Veil. So that's a great pack right off the bat. I kind of want to see if we can get like most of our value back because a lot of these packs just have a ton of value in them. It probably not because this is pretty expensive sealed, but we're probably going to do pretty well. Let's see. Based on that start, I think we can do pretty well. We probably got like a $15 pack right there. We've got a Jinzo. I mean, this card's definitely worth something. Near Mint. We've got the Dimensional Fissure. The Gozuki. Legacy of a Hero. And the Bro Hunter. All right, that wasn't as good as the last one. Let's try the next one. There is Cyber Dragon here. As you guys can tell from the pack card, there is an actual Cyber Dragon. So this could be cool. Ooh, Uriah, Lord of Sealing Fr Searing Flames. There we go. We've got the Rescue Cat. This is a good one. I think it's over like $10 at this point, even though it just got a reprint. Lightwing Shield. Dark Summoning Beast. And the Synchro Call. Good start. Good start. And as you can tell, it's all the ultra rare technology. So it's a bunch of ultra rares in here. Come on. Open up here. Ooh, a Tsukiyomi. Okay, this is what I was using in my goat deck until I got the ultimate rare because it's one of the foil printings. Chimera Tech. Depth Shark. Necroid Synchro. And halfway to forever. I'm telling you guys, where is the Dark Magician? I think, I'm not Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. I think Dark Magician is also in here. And for the giveaway, I forgot to mention, uh, like the video, be subscribed. And then let me know what you think about the rarity of uh, Dual Saga. There's a Brianak right off the bat. That's a good one. Pot of Duality. A Pot of Awesome, I should say. Do you guys know that you can special summon a Pot of Duality? Dark Lord Descent. We've got a Elemental Hero Honest Neos. And Visionary Vion, that's another good one. Wow, that's a very good pack. The Honest Neos used to be like the most expensive card in here. And now it's like not even close to the most expensive. Let's go. Or one of the most. When I opened it, it was like 10 bucks. Now there's like a ton of cards over 10 bucks, and I don't think it's even one of them. We've got a Gale the Whirlwind. Mirror Forest. Cool. Good to see a millionth printing of that. Necroid Synchro. Converging Wishes. And the Saber Shark. All right, not a bad card there. What do we have left in the Duelist Saga? Let's pull some good stuff. We got, ooh, Effect Veiler. One of the best cards. Effect Veiler is very popular right now. I think it's about 10 bucks. Necro Valley is another good one. Legacy of the Duelist. Wait, Legacy of the Duel. It's named after the uh, <laughs> named after the game. And full armored Black Ray Lancer. This is a Duel Links card. Cool. On to wait. Is this Malevolent Sin? Did it get itself a pack card? Oh, a Formula Sync. Man, there's a lot of good cards. There's so many good cards. Soul Charge, another good one. Depth Shark. Necroid Synchro. Halfway to forever. We've seen a lot of that. Halfway to forever. Where's the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Come on, guys. We need your luck to pull the Blue Eyes. Uh, yeah, these are kind of hard to open because of these weird, like, crimps at the top. It's kind of makes them kind of hard to open. Mizuki's not bad. 
Go Yo Guardian. You'll love to see that card. I don't think it's too good anymore, but it's cool. It got eroded, etc. Uh, Dar Dia Dia Bound. I don't remember that Dia Bound actually had cards. And then the Necroid Synchro. Cool. So far, no Dark Magician. No Blue Eyes White Dragon. But we have pulled some good stuff. Necro Valley is a good one. Dandelion. That's another decent card. Star Shaman. Contract with Dawn Thousand. What is this? Dawn Thousand? And number 28, Titanic Moth. Wait, so is Malevolent Sin in here or not? Is that what that spider is? I'm trying to think of any other spider in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Pachycephalo, another good card. Trishula, okay. Love that one. Saber Shark. Clashing Souls. And Skydive Scorcher. Cyber Dragon's up next. And there he is, right in the Cyber Dragon pack. Cyber Dragon and the Cyber Dragon pack. We'll take that. Another pot of awesome. Very cool. Lightwing Shield. Power Wall. And Legacy of a Hero. Still not bad. The first two cards are pretty nice. Still probably like maybe halfway to go. So far, no blue eyes. There's a Formula Synchron. I wonder if it's the same order as last time we got Formula. Cyber Dragon. Wait, is it going to be Pot of Awesome? No, Power Wall. Okay, it's not in the same order. Legacy of a Hero again. And Saber Shark. Well, I feel like those were close to each other before, too. We haven't pulled... Have we pulled Black Rose? I can't remember. I can't remember if we pulled the Black Rose Dragon. Oh, the BLS. I forgot about this. Black Luster Soldier's in here. Here's another good one. Mass Hero Dark Law. This is... Second most expensive card according to TCG. I didn't click through to like see exactly the price. But I think it's around nineteen dollars. There's the malevolent sin. Dual links for you. The best level four or rank four, I should say. Number ninety four, and full armor crystal zero lancer. All right, that was that was a heck of a pack. That was a heck of a pack. I'm wondering what our value is looking like right now. Ooh, Castell. That was a pretty good reprint at the time, probably. Future fusion, Dark Lord descent, Saber Shark again for the millionth time. In contact with Dawn Thousand. Nine packs left, so we are about 60% of the way through this thing. Doom Cal is in here. Very cool. Doom Caliber 9. I kind of hate this card because it's an automatic um, activation. Chaos Scepter. Dark Summoning Beast. And the Cosmic Flare. Blue Eyes, where are you? Please appear to us. All right, we got the Geyser. Is cool. Uh, the Constellar Tolmy M7, the Clear Effector. Diamond Dust. Cosmic. I don't think we had pulled any of those cards yet. So we just got a bunch of different cards right there. Cyber Dragon. Here we go. We haven't pulled a lot of doubles, though. We've pulled a few cards that are doubles. Soul Charge. Another good one. It's still banned, though. Saul Morning. All right, from the first pack. Fallen Paradise. Sea Lord's Amulet. And Silent Angler. Another Duel Links card. Six more packs. We're getting near the end. The Neo Spatian Grand Mole. Got, you love to see him. Doom Caliber Knight. The Synchro Call. Converging Wishes. And Dark Lord. A Kobak? Wow, where is it? Blue Eyes, come on. The most expensive card. Black Rose. There's the Black Rose. We finally got Black Rose Dragon. Rescue Cat, another great one. Power Wall. Legacy of a Hero. We've seen that so much. And Saber Shark. We've also seen that so much. They've been in packs together quite a bit. Duelist. We haven't seen Elemental Hero Neos yet. A Hero Lives. That's a good one, too. A hero Lives. Dark Magician. We finally get him. I don't think he's worth as much as Blue Eyes, but he's still pretty decent. We'd love to see him. Dark Magician. Very cool. Bro Hunter. Lightwing Shield. And Dark Summoning Beast. Three more packs. Come on. Bless us. All right. Deep Sea Diva is a good card. That's a good. There's a lot of water support in here. Mirror Force. Dia Bound Colonel. Necroid Synchro and Converge Wishes. Was it Bakora? Was Bakora, right? That's that's the voice I'm doing. I think it's Bakora that used Dia Bound. Him and Merrick always get confused for some reason, even though like they're not even that similar. He's both evil. <laughs> Raphael. So we got Raphael. We didn't get um whatever the yellow one's called. What is it called? Come on. There we go. Monster Gate, Bro Hunter. Lightwing Shield. Come on, blue eyes. Power wall. Okay, it's all come down to this. The Blue Eyes White Dragon Pack artwork. We have not pulled a Blue Eyes. This will be the third full box of open and not pulled a Blue Eyes. So I think it's definitely short printed, which is interesting. Seems like they do that with Blue Eyes quite a bit. First card, a Mirror Force. Okay, it's destroying all monsters on your opponent's side of the field when they attack. Come on, Blue Eyes. Ooh, Solemn Warning. Pretty good. Silent Angler. We'll take that. Skydive Scores. Scorcher. And 
Cosmic Flare, no blue eyes, why? Overall, I think we did pretty good. We had a lot of solid pulls, but we didn't get that blue eyes white dragon. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tome Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Hawaiian Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, and Duelist Kingdom Cards. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.